So generally, I think poi, and a lot of people think that poi is an awesome activity. It's a, it can be a real exercise. It can get you in shape and tone your body and make your arms strong and that's good for your brain. It uh, can be really awesome um, for your health. But uh, it's physical, and like anything you do physical, like any sport, um, there's always some risk that you will develop an injury or some repetitive strain syndrome or something uh, unpleasant. This can usually be avoided with applying a few things. The two most important things, the first one is uh, the warm-up, which is warming the body up, loosening the body up, and being able to gently take the body through ranges of motion to get everything warm and loose and lubricated. That's super important for avoiding injury. Number two is simply good technique. Moving the body in healthy ways versus unhealthy ways. So that would be something like if you're moving your arm through a big circle, having the movement be part of the whole body. And look at my shoulder, it's relaxed and it's not going into any kind of extreme position versus doing something like this, right? It's still the arm in a big circle, but look, I'm, pu I'm putting the arm through a very uncomfortable position. Understanding the difference between a relaxed full body movement and torquing on your shoulder it's what's going to make the difference between making your shoulder healthier and injuring your shoulder. Stretching is also useful, but I think it's like, you know, it's kind of like people focus too much on recycling when reduce and reuse are more important, um, and also some conditioning, some strengthening. And all this together will make sure that poi is really good for us, and it's not, uh, you know, hopefully none of us are developing any problems. And uh, that's my goal, and hopefully it's your goal too. And, um, and I'd add to that just listening to your body, actually, is another important one. Understanding that if, if you any kind of sharp pain, anything like that, stop. You know, if there's, you know listen to pain. Uh, and of course, ask questions. Um, sometimes you'll ask a question and all I can say is, go see a physiotherapist, go see a yoga teacher. Uh, you need to find somebody who can see what's really going on. Because um, I'm not a certified, you know, healthcare practitioner. But ask all the questions you've got and I will keep answering because I really want this to be really good for everybody and uh, that's kind of what we're all doing together. So more on that in the coming videos.